What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, this is Watch Chris. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon, and of course, liking this video if you find it useful. Today, we're taking a look at a Casio edifice. This is a blue dial watch. It's a Tiffany blue dial with an integrated bracelet watch. I've featured a number of these watches here on my channel, and every time I get one in for review, I am impressed what you're getting for the money. So let's flip the camera and take a look at a watch that I think is a great value, the Casio Edifice with a Tiffany blue style dial. So it really doesn't matter these days, all watch brands are jumping on the bandwagon and making Tiffany colored dials. So this is a Tiffany style dial, I guess you would call it, because technically it's not exactly a Tiffany dial, it just is meant to look like a Tiffany dial. This is a Casio edifice. This is the second Casio that I featured here on my channel. The first one was a Casio Datejust lookalike that had a Tiffany dial. It also had a pretty cheap case, a pretty cheap bracelet. However, I think it retailed for around $60, somewhere in that neighborhood. They were selling for a lot more than that. I think they were selling for around $200 to $300, and in that video I said it was definitely not worth that money. Now, this watch is definitely a different story. Always like the edifice because I think they're actually pretty good looking watches that are very well made. You're getting a sapphire crystal, which is very, very important, and you're getting a pretty nice bracelet on this watch considering it costs around $140. This is $140 on sale on multiple different websites. I'll put a link to Amazon down in the description below. However, this is available on the Casio website for $170. So currently you could actually get these below retail, not much below retail, but you can get them below retail. I have featured a black dial version here on my channel and a silver dial version of a very similarly styled watch. This is the Tiffany dial version. It gets very similar, sword hands. You're getting those applied indices. There is loom on this dial. I'm not sure if this is well loomed or not. It gets a sapphire crystal. It says it on the dial. You're getting 100 meters of water resistance. It has the edifice logo right above the hand stack, right below that 12 o'clock index. You have a minute track that is sort of sloped. It's on that, I guess you would call it a chapter ring. And then you have a flat bezel that has eight sides. There are no screws in the bezel. They're actually in the case. So there's four screws in the case. I'm not sure if those are actually functional screws, but that flat bezel is all vertically brushed. But when you turn it on its side, it's actually polished. So there's polishing on the facets of that bezel. Then you can see the case itself has actually a nice polished edge along the edge of the entire case. That goes on the bottom as well. The sides are brushed. You have little crown guards and a signed crown. You also get on the other side a little bit of a, I don't know what this is. I guess it's like a design cue. It's a little jut out on the other side of the case. It's finished very nicely. You have brushing, polishing again all around on here. And then there's the bracelet. The bracelet I've always been very impressed with on an edifice because there is is brushing primarily throughout the bracelet. There's a little bit of polish on each one of the links. On the side of the bracelet, it is polished. Now, is it as nice as a PRX? No, but it doesn't cost as much as a PRX. If you want a quartz version of the PRX with the Tiffany dial, I think it's around $375 is what I wanna say. Uh, it could be $350, I don't remember exactly, but this is sort of an alternative to the PRX and quartz, but for less money and it's actually just as good looking in my opinion. There is one advantage that you do get over the PRX here and that is in the clasp. Now the clasp isn't all that great. However, it's not a butterfly clasp, not a traditional dress watch clasp. It's signed, double signed with the logo and then edifice right there. It is pressed, which is kind of unfortunate, but at this price, that's kind of what it is. You do get three positions of micro adjust. You can get this to fit your wrist really well. And that is definitely an advantage over the PRX. I've owned PRX in the past and there have been a few times where I wish I had a little bit of micro adjust as your wrist expands and shrinks with heat and cold. It's good to have a little bit of micro adjust. Now, one other thing I wanna mention about this watch that I think is crazy, and this is the same thing that I mentioned in the other videos that I did for the edifice. This is way 
way smaller than they actually advertise on the website. So this is actually in 39 millimeters, so it's around 40 millimeters. If you include the crown guards and the other side of the case, if you don't and you measure it at the bezel, it's almost 38 millimeters, it's around 37 in chain. This is a lot smaller than they're actually advertising. The lug to lug is under 50 millimeters, around 49 millimeters, and a 7.9 millimeter thickness. This is going to wear very comfortably and it could work for smaller wrists. So if you were in the market for this watch, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know why they put the size wrong on their website. I've seen this a few times, but Casio put this as a 44.5 millimeter watch. It definitely is not. On my wrist today, I have a watch that sold out pretty quickly. I think this sold out in around 24 hours. This is the Huckberry collaboration with Timex on the Expedition North Titanium. I absolutely love this watch. It is so cool. Uh, automatic, titanium, sapphire crystal, you know, everything that you would ever want from a Timex in one watch. And they never get that right. So. I'm really happy that they made this watch. I really love the dial on here uh, and I'm very proud to own this watch. And there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. This wears like a 40 millimeter integrated bracelet watch. This is not 45 millimeters or whatever they say it is on their website, 44.5 millimeters, definitely not. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. This wears very comfortably. It looks really good on my wrist. It's really thin. Look at that, 7.9 millimeters thin. The bracelet is a little bit jangly. So if you don't like that, you're not gonna like this watch. It does feel light on my wrist, but so does the PRX in quartz as well. I think the PRX in quartz might be a little bit heavier than this watch. And of course that clasp does feel cheap and it looks cheap. However, you do get that extra micro adjust so it is functional. All in all, I don't think this is a bad watch for the price if you're paying under that $170. I mean, the loom isn't bad on here. There is no loom on the second hand. Again, that could be forgiven. If I was comparing this directly to a PRX, this probably has loom that's on par with a PRX. All in all, I'm impressed with this watch. Like I said, there are a few little minor details that I think are a little bit annoying. There's a little bit of sharpness around that bezel because it is so flat, but I wouldn't say it's sharp. I would just say it feels a little bit sharp. I do think the case and the bracelet are actually finished pretty decently, especially again, considering it's $144 watch is what I paid. And then of course there is the bracelet and of course that clasp. So those do feel cheap, but they are made out of stainless steel, whereas the Casio Datejust Tiffany dial, which was selling for way more than this watch is selling for right now, is made out of plated brass, I believe, and the bracelet was extremely cheap on that watch. But again, that was a $60 watch. This is near double or more than double that price, right? This is a lot more watch. This is way more than double that watch, in my opinion. And I also think this is a better looking watch, in my opinion, as well, especially considering the price. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of this watch? Do you think it's worth $100? $144. Like I said, I'll put a link down in the description below for this watch. If you're interested, check out that link. There are a few other Tiffany dial Casios that I want to get on the channel. So uh, I think I'll be getting one pretty soon. I just went and bid on one on eBay. So let's see uh, if I win that bid. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Most of the people who watch my channel are not subscribed. I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. It's really helpful for the channel. I very much appreciate it. It helps me continue to do this and I love to make videos and uh, talk about watches with you guys. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, like I said, it's very helpful. Anyway guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video.